Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 41. In this particular XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we're going to be going over how to use a slideshow widget. So it's going to be a very simple tutorial, and I think that once you understand these basic concepts, you'll be able to apply those to the other slideshows within the designs gallery in the iCatchers folder. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the designs gallery. And I'm going to close all the folders that I had open so that that way it looks like it would if you just opened the program and you made no edits. So with all my folders closed, we're going to look for the folder that says widgets, forms, and more. And it's about the fourth folder down. And it should be in that order. If it's not in that order, I'll give you a little bit of time to find that. But once you find that folder uh, for widget forms and more, you're going to left click on that. And when you left click on that, we're going to look for a thumbnail that has the title title effect slideshow one. And don't worry about, you know, it actually really don't have to worry about which one you choose. Just make sure you have a, a thumbnail you choose that says slideshow in it. But in this case, if you want to follow this tutorial exactly the way that I'm making it, you would select title effect slideshow left click and drag it into your workspace and once you left click and drag that into your workspace you're gonna double left click on it and this is for any widget whenever you edit a widget you have to double left click on it and when you do that it's gonna put it into edit mode and you'll see that we have a new tab at the top like normal and I'm going through this relatively quickly because again we've kind of covered this when we went over the accordion uh, widget so if you haven't watched the tutorial on the accordion widget you may want to watch that and as usual there will be a description that will describe how to edit this template uh, for the widget slideshow but I'm not going to really read through that uh, I think that the reason you're watching this video tutorial is because you don't want to have to read this kind of stuff so I'm going to show you how to edit this template uh, the first thing that I want to mention is do not resize these pictures and when I say you don't resize I mean using the selection tool if you select this image and you make it larger that is a big no no do not do that in version 7 premium of the software if you're using version 7 you do not do this if you got a newer version there is a way to resize it and I'll explain that once I upgrade to the version 8 right now I'm kinda trying to teach everyone how to use version 7 that way everyone can take advantage of it even if they have a previous version so make sure that you do not resize that and if you follow me when I resize that just go up to the top of your uh, workspace and you'll see an icon that says undo looks like a curved arrow pointing to the left left click on that and it will put everything back into its original perspective so once you put that back let's go about showing you how to add in your own pictures and the way that I would do that if you're using Windows XP you'll be able to follow right along with me if not uh, you'll have to try to figure out where your pictures are at on your version of Windows. But if you're using Windows XP, go to the Start menu, go to My Pictures, left click on that, and it'll bring up the My Pictures folder. And you're going to look for the folder that says Sample Pictures, and you're going to double left click on that. And once you double left click on that, you'll see all the pictures that you have in that particular folder. And you can use whatever folder you have pictures in, it doesn't have to be Sample Pictures and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to left click this first image called Blue Hills and drag it into our workspace over this first slideshow page and you'll see that it replaces that image and if you wanted to resize it you know you can resize it as long as you have the fill, fill tool selected and if you look in your toolbar you'll see that we have indeed the fill tool selected and that's this, that's this tool that looks like a paint bucket so make sure you have that selected if you want to change the size of this picture. So select your picture with that tool selected and then holding down the control key you'll click on one of the end nodes and you'll drag outward while, while holding down the control key and you'll see that it makes the image larger or smaller but you don't want to make it too small because as you can see you have a lot of white space and that would look really weird in your slideshow so make sure that you don't have any white spaces on the edges and that you cover that full space when you're dragging outward. So that's one of the ways that you can resize it. Now you can also change the rotation. And again, this is stuff that I've covered in previous tutorials. So you know how to rotate 
an object using the fill tool. So you can rotate it. So there is some flexibility in changing the size as long as you keep it within this workspace. You can't use the, again, the selection tool to make it larger like that. That's a big no-no. So do not do that. So undo that again and put it back to its original perspective if you changed it like I did. And so the next thing I want to show you is how to change the text. So let's go ahead and double left click on the text. And if you hit control A, it'll select all that text. And then you can type in whatever you want. And I can write this is a XR tutorial. Just to keep it really simple and really quick. Now you can write in whatever you want whatever is relevant to that picture or image that you have and then select the selection tool and you're done making your edits now let's say that you want to change multiple photos you don't want to do this one by one you got a lot of photos in, in your folder that you want to replace all these images with well one of the ways you can accomplish that is to go back to your sample pictures folder and this time let's say that you have all the pictures in this one folder these are all your pictures. There's two ways to select all these pictures. You can either control select. I'm sorry. Control you can either hit not control. Don't listen to what I just told you there. If you hit left click and drag over all these photos, it will select all those photos. So that's one way to select it. Or if you left click out of off of those photos and hit control A, it will select all those photos. So there's two ways to do that. So if you select all those photos and drag it on the second photo image here the photo slider it will replace all those photos including the ones that you added so you have the blue hills you have the sunset you have the lilies you have the winter image so it will replace all those images with the ones that we dragged in now let's say that you want to add an additional page unlike the the accordion widget where you can only use five pages this one allows you to have a, have more than five. You can add whatever images you want. So let's say that you're not happy with just having five images. You want to have more, more than five images. Well, one of the ways to accomplish that is to go to the Page and Layers Gallery. So let's close out the Designs Gallery by clicking the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner, and then click on Page and Layer Gallery and lock that panel. And once you lock that panel, let's go to the last last uh, slideshow in that particular in this particular widget and then we're going to click on the option that says duplicate and when you duplicate that page you'll have a sixth page and if you look in the designs gallery you'll see the number six which reflects that hey this is page number six and if you go back to your sample pictures folder you again you'll be able to add in whatever picture you want by simply dragging it in and that's how you create another page that's the method that I would recommend. There is another way to create it, but I recommend just duplicating um, an existing page within your slideshow and then adding the images that you want. So now that we're done making our edits, you know, I'm not going to make any other edits. You, you have the full idea of how to edit the slideshow. So let's go ahead and close out uh, this slideshow by clicking the X button. And it's going it's to ask you, do you want to save your changes? And you're going to say yes. And so now we're no longer in edit mode, but we're in the workspace mode for widgets where you can't edit. You can only edit a widget in the edit mode. And now we're in, like I said, we're in the work, regular workspace um, for this particular widget. So let's go ahead and go to File, Preview, Website. And when you go to Preview Website, it's going to show that slideshow that we just created. And as you can see, it says this is a XR tutorial and if you go to the next image it's going to go to the next image which in this case is the same image because I put it in there twice so if you hit it a third time you'll see that this time it brings in the sunset image and every time that you hit next it will bring up a new image and it will bring in the tile effect for that particular slideshow now there is some other things that I probably need to show you that I did not discuss and let's let's go ahead and go over that before we go any further so the other thing that I want to show you is that you can actually link to a uh, Pacific page or Pacific URL so let's go back to edit mode there is something I need to show you let's say that you want to link this particular image to a 
uh, Pacific page you will right click on it go to web properties and then under the link tab you can link to any page that you want let's say you want to link to Google you type in Google dot com and then you will hit apply and that would apply that link to that particular image and if you wanted to link maybe you want the sunset to link to a different page so you left click on that and right then right click after you have it selected go to web properties and then go to uh, the link option again here the link to web or email address and this time we might go to yahoo.com so you type in yahoo.com and it would then link to yahoo.com as one of the links so let's go ahead and close out of edit mode hit save and then if you go to file preview website when we go to preview it if we click on this now it's going to go to google and i'll show you that if i click on it you'll see that it's going to eventually change to the google page as you can see it took us to the google web page when i clicked on that picture so let's go back and then let's go to the sunset picture so click next and click next one more time and now we're on a sunset picture and because we set this to yahoo.com if we left click on that it's yahoo web page oh, it should us to the yahoo page give me one moment waiting for it to load here okay as you can see it loads up the yahoo.com page so that's how you link to a specific page now you can link to a page within your website too and you know I can go over that with you if you need help with that uh, if you have any questions please send me a message on YouTube if you have a request for additional tutorials you know let me know and don't forget to give us thumbs up subscribe and better video do it, any any of those things will help me understand if we're on the right track so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it helps you to better understand how to use the Xara software. Have a great day.